Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a video breaking down a system I've currently been working on. Uh, it's called a domain-driven camera system. And as you can see, we've got a Shimbi model set up, as well as assets from the Soul Cave package. Both of these things you can find in the Unreal 4 marketplace for free, which very nice. Um, so as you can see right now, the camera is set up so it's very close. Uh, right now, I actually have it deliberately pushing itself away from the player, so as they move to the right, the camera sort of tries to say, okay, we'll push them to the right instead. Move to the left, it pushes them to the left. Uh, I just like this because it sort of sets up a very close, more sort of claustrophobic camera system that you would want if you were in, say, a forest. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm sure you're wondering what makes this camera system interesting. Well, as we go into this more open area, we've now entered a different domain. Uh, a domain in this case is just sort of an area designated by a volume with a specific ID attached to it. This ID is then used to access a data table which has a bunch of different values for the camera to use. So for example, how much offset it should have from the player, where the pivot should align to, whether it should push or pull in as they move to the side. So in this case it's pulling in with uh, the forest area it's pushing out, uh, as well as where the uh, pivot point is, the speed values for all of these things as well. And the reason I have it set up this way is so that values can easily be reused again and again. So that little area we were just in was a field zone, or sorry, field domain, and so is this area. So it's using the exact same settings from a table as that smaller area we were just in. And the reason I try to make it this way is because it's essentially trying to execute the idea of saying you can script an open world by just saying you know what this area is going to be looking at the map you know how you want the player to feel when they're in it and you want to see if you can evoke that feeling with the camera setup so here's sort of like okay we're in a smaller woods we want the camera closer in uh, the pitch is a bit more clamped whereas when we come out here this is also using the field area uh, camera has a little bit more movement to it as well as it zoomed out a bit more. You can see it trails behind a little bit more as well. And then once we approach the edge here, the camera slowly zooms out again. And so this is just sort of to say, okay, you're in a very large, you're at the top of the cliff, you want it to feel very large, like you're looking down on an area below. Um, and yeah. So I just think this is a pretty neat system. Uh, it's still early days, so there's still a few bugs. Um, definitely need to iron out a few more things for it. But so far it's looking really promising. Um, and yeah, hope to have more of it to show off soon. Cheers.